What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now over the past few days we've had tons of new info on content coming to Destiny with the April update, the 2.2.0 update which will arrive on April 12th and damn in my opinion this is very much needed as well as all the juicy info we got from the things to earn stream yesterday we also got new info outside of the stream there are 11 more exotics coming from that year one and being upgraded to that year two power level now via both streams the things to do and the things to earn there's been no mention of any new exotics by all means that doesn't mean there's something hidden somewhere down the line though but it was pretty obvious however that there were they're going to upgrade some of that old loot and that's what they are doing. So let's take a look at the exotics being revived and let's start with the armors. First up we have the purifier robes. Now this is a warlock chest piece known for that burn brighter mod. Activating radiance from death disorients nearby enemies. Next up we have the Sunbreakers, these are Warlock Gauntlets known for that Helium Cycle mod. The next piece making a return is the Titan Helmet, the Eternal Warrior, known for Resolute, provides Unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. Next up we have the Titan Gauntlets, the ACD Slash Zero Feedback Fence. These are known for Wrath Conductors, taking damage from a melee attack deals damage in an area around you. The next armor piece here is the Glass House, another Titan helmet, this one known for bathed in light. Blessing of light and weapons of light last longer. Okay, so moving on and there are three armor pieces returning for the Hunter. We have the ATS slash A Arachnid, known for allowing you to zoom in for accuracy while using that golden gun. We have the Lucky Raspberry Chest Armor, which allows you to spawn with grenade energy and art bot grenade chains further. And the third armor piece for the Hunter is the Kepru Sting. Now these are gauntlets, known for that mod Touch of Venom. Gaining visibility after crouching in place for a short time and melee attacking an enemy from behind while invisible deals four times the damage. Now that guys is it for the armor pieces but there are also five returning weapons. Now with the prison of elders being the main PvE activity it was pretty obvious that the three exotics obtainable from the old school prison would make a return and upgraded to that new year 2 power level. They are the queen breakers bow, the dregs promised and the lord of wolves. In my opinion all three of these weapons were basically novelty weapons, none offering anything in my opinion really impressive to warrant people using them over other weapons. So hopefully with the new version of the Prison of Elders, where these will obviously be dropping, hopefully these weapons get improved somehow. Now the other two weapons making a return are the Universal Remote, which in my opinion is a great weapon, a shotgun that sits in your primary slot, and the Patience and Time, which is a great and very useful sniper rifle. And they guys are the confirmed exotics making a return with the April update. Besides the three Prison of Elders exotics, I'm guessing the others are obtainable up to a 335 coming from exotic engrams. Now whether or not they will announce any more exotics coming with the April update, at this point in time we are unsure. I'm hoping to see the Icebreaker make a return someday though, I really am. But guys, that is it for another video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, if you could drop a like, I would appreciate that support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.